to Living Victorious of Grace. Today I have a um, making a war binder tutorial and I'm going to be showing you how to make one and kind of how I set up mine. So um, what I'm going to be using today is this kind of like, I don't know the size of the binder specifically, but putting it to, let me grab a regular piece of paper to show you. Putting it next to a regular piece of paper, um, it's not a bad size. It's like perfect for a junk journal, I mean for a war binder, and so I'm going to be showing you guys how I make it. So I'm just going to use white paper, some lined ones, and then I'm, I want to show you how I kind of set up my faith journal here. This holds all like Bible truths and stuff, I'll show you the notebooks that I stuck in here. Let me show you. Okay, so, let me open this. Oh, I zipped it back up. <laughs> My bad. Okay, so in here I have this really pretty sparkly notebook, cream colored lined paper. Then I have this really nice leather journal where I can write more um, awesome truths in there. And then I have like tons and tons of these journaling cards. I love them. You can get so many and get them right at the Dollar Tree. So right now, I'm just going to start by putting my junk journal together. And so I have this whole picture here and I'm just going to start off. I'm going to fold the page in half and that's going to be the size of my page. I'm not sure the specific size, like I said, on my binder. It doesn't have like a Pacific size. Mine's a three ring binder, so I only need the three rings here. So I'm just gonna squirt that. And then I'm gonna cut that down the middle. And you wanna do this until you have your desirable amount of, amount of pages. And you're just going to want to do it like that. And then I'm going to pull punch. So for the first one, I want to make sure that I have the holes punched in the right um, spot. So I'm going to kind of... Ouch! So it kind of makes the indent in the paper where you're supposed to do the um holes and everything so um i'm gonna have to do this and i'll be back this is what it's gonna look like when you have one of them hole punched and i'm just gonna at least do 15 to 20 of these and i'm just gonna go ahead and do that real fast i'm gonna show you how we do one more so let me put that to the side and grab my binder again kind of get that situated okay you don't have to do it that way but that's just the way that's easiest for me to do it particularly so that's just how I'm gonna do it but and you can use a single hole puncher too and I'm just going to show you how these two kind of set in the book, or in the, um, in the binder. They fit perfectly, and you can stick them in as you go, but I'm just showing you how the two fit. And they fit perfect. Um, like, I love it, and I'm so excited to decorate the cover, because we are going to be decorating the cover today also. So I'm just going to hole punch the rest of this, and I'll be back when I'm done. some lined paper here. I'm just going to grab about that much, a good amount, and I'm going to cut these to the exact same size that these are in. So we're going to have some remainder. going to line one and line all the papers up. So have that one. And you can totally do this one by one. I'm just trying... Ooh, to save some time here um 
you know what I mean? Um, but I got that done. I'm going to do one at a time so I don't mess up too badly. But I'm just going to cut all these up and see if they fit my rings. I'm going to have to add an extra ring to these just because only two rings. But we'll see how they work. I'm not sure how they're going to work. So I'm just going to cut these and see if they fit my um, binder. So all these are done and cut to the T. And let me take those out. Okay. I got my binder here. Let's see if these things fit. Okay. They do not match my hole indicate um, holes here. So I'm gonna have to actually cut these down also. So let me just get a marker and kind of point. Comment down below if you've made your own binder because I'm really curious. Um, I was just watching a video a little while ago. I was watching this um, girl make her a war binder and I said I want to make one of those. So I ended up doing that. Let me just um, kind of get a feel for where the rings are going to be. So, so yeah, they do have a lot of holes, but... It looks good. It's got paper, and that's all that matters. So I'm just going to do that to the rest over here. And kind of go by the whole sizing. And getting that done. I don't want to cut them on even. If it's still close to the camera and you guys can't see anything, it's because I'm trying to figure out where the holes are, and they're kind of... They're hard to see, so if that's happening, that's why. Okay. Let me see if that fits with the flow and stuff, so. Perfect fit. I am putting all of the paper in at the moment. I made quite a bit of paper, so I'm happy that I did because um, I need like a lot of paper to write on. And this is a good size binder, so I wanted it to be full of paper. There, um, I'm going to make sections for this four binder, so I'm so excited to do that. Um, I have so many sections that I can make for this, so um, I'm going to do those. And to make the sections, you are going to need scrapbook paper, but you can make your own paper. You can decorate your own paper. You can do you. Um, okay, so we have, whoops, let me get all that paper. We have all of our paper, and it's upside down. Why is it like that? Oh, perfect. Okay. So we have all of our papers in and we have good amount. Um, so I have this really cute double-sided scrapbooking paper and I kind of wanted to, let me see which way would fit better. So I think what I'm going to do is kind of scrap it up. So I love this, let me see, I love this design here. So this is the side I'm going to use. And I'm kind of just going to cut it to size. So I'm going to turn it around to the side that I don't want to use. And cut it to size. So there. And there. It's like so big so it's kind of hard to see. But I'm going to do that. And I'll be back when it's done. I've got cut to size. And right now I'm just going to glue it on with some tacky glue. I'm just going to kind of like paint this on. So I have, um, this is kind of because I lost the tops of the glue. So the glue is kind of drying up here. But I'm going to do the best I can to spread it. Because I don't want to waste the glue because it's my favorite glue. You can find this. I don't know if you can find the glue. Um, I think you can find it right at the Dollar Tree. But it's really good for junk journaling, so I would highly recommend trying it out. Um, if you have any glue recommendations for junk journaling, because this is the only kind I've tried, and it works better than Elmer, I'm telling you. It may be $1.25 for one bottle, but it's really not that bad compared to, you know, other brands of glue. I'm just trying to spread this. I want to make sure it sticks well. Stick this on very carefully. Get it as close to the edge as I can. As I can. Okay. Now I know there's a little gap there. 
and I thought I could put this beautiful mesh. So I'm just gonna grab some glue. Um, now this glue in here is like almost empty, so I'm just going to go ahead with this Elmer and do like a little strip along because I thought it would be so pretty for the lace of this. I'm here and I thought using one of the graphics because I love the vintage look so I thought finding one of the graphics that I like for the side um this is a really old book like I don't even know the like the age of the book I really like this colorful image here so I'm gonna take that and it's the I'm gonna have to get one more page for this book um lay down some glue here and kind of just work with the flow sorry if it's real close to the camera just working with the setup i have so i'm just not focusing on the placement of this i'm just kind of pasting it and see where it takes me so i have to grab one more so i'm just gonna cut this down real fast Okay, let me just cut a little bit from another piece of the book off real fast. And I'll be back when I do. decorate the cover a little bit because I'm so excited to start decorating it. I have these really pretty butterfly stickers I thought would go really pretty with these and these beautiful flowers. So I decided I was going to use those and I'm just going to stick those on. You can find these um, stickers at the dollar store if any of you guys are wondering um these are really pretty stickers they're kind of like you can kind of see their 3d i'm gonna start by sticking the um butterflies on and just placing them i'm probably just gonna use these smaller ones just because i think they're really cute and i feel like the butterflies go perfect with the theme we're going with and i'm gonna use one of these big flowers. I think this yellow and orange one. I feel like it goes so perfect. And um, I'm probably going to put it right here. Because the war binder um, thing is going to go right here. So I'm going to start by kind of just outlining that. Because um, I just want outline, So I don't put anything else over that. So it's kind of just going to be. And then. something kind of like that I want to add I have these beautiful beautiful Bible stickers that I have found I can't really see them because it's really bad glare I found these at Dollar Tree and they're like Bible sayings on them I'm gonna stick this in my war binder when it's dry um I'm gonna work on a little bit of the cover just so you can kind of get a better um understanding of how it's going to end up looking so i'm going to grab my supplies and i'll be Stuck back between these two patterns because i know they will look really good with this pattern i'm thinking of going with this kind of like it's kind of like a gingham um print and i figured i'd cut it up in swigglies and kind of go with the flow um, i can always cut it down if needed something kind of like that I thought would be really nice it is a little bit of a small fit but I feel like it works perfect so I have to glue it. I love it and it's gonna look so nice I have a brilliant idea but I can't do it until it dries so I have to work with what I have until I can kind of get it to dry I want to write war binder I think I feel like it will look really nice with a purple pen so that's what I'm gonna do it with one thing I wanted to do to make this even pop even more is kind of do an outline of your war binder name and I wanted to put glitter on it. I feel like that was such a pretty idea and I'm so excited to see the end result this is gorgeous I love the way it turned out I have a few more things I want to add to this journal, and I'll be back when it dries. I'm getting to the process of decorating. I 
And there was one thing I wanted to do for this binder to make it even look even prettier is add some ribbon tassels to it. So I'm going to show you guys how you can do that. You are going to need some your choice of ribbon and some bigger paper clips. And what you're going to want to do is cut a piece of ribbon any length you prefer. And it's cool. I have a pink paper clip to go with the pink ribbon. And what I'm you're going to want to do is kind of have it like that. I'm going to cut the edges real fast since I'm got the ribbons together like that and you are going to want to tie a knot guys so um this is finally dry i put like a little ribbon in the back so it connected so i did the back of the cover which i didn't end up showing you this is what that side looks like and look how beautiful it is y'all it's so nice and i'm so happy with the results like i said in the video I was gonna show you like my faith journal. I have been like journaling in it. Like I have recently started it, so I just wanted to show you what it looks like. So this is my faith journal. Um, I do a lot in this journal. I have this little like, tassel that hangs off of it. It's a zipper. I got this at the thrift store, so I don't know where like you can get this Pacific um, journal. I have seen th something similar to these at Five Below. So go check um, at Five Below if you want this Pacific journal um but you open it up it's got like a leather journal and this really pretty sparkly journal and you open it up to the first page i'm gonna skip the first page though because it's just like a journal entry and i have this seven steps to illustrating your faith you can pause the video if you'd like to read it that's the only thing i've done in that journal so far but this really pretty sparkly journal it says faith hope and love i've been working on my calligraphy calligraphy recently so i've been doing that okay here i have the armor of god and i just wrote them all down because i feel like that's important to have and be able to um just reference back to that because you should always put on the armor of god every day so i like um, i really wanted to put that in my faith journal here i wanted to um write down what god says and what you say so like i'll just read one off for an example i feel alone i will never leave you and then like it's not worth it it will be worth it so those are just like few but um i have quite a few written down they're just good affirmations to remind yourself um then that everything is against you so they're always good reminders and then um here on this other side it has quotes like whenever you feel unloved, unimportant, or insecure, remember to to whom you belong. And that's Ephesians 2, 19 through 22. And then um, when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. And that's in Isaiah, Isaiah, Isaiah 60, 22. And then here, I have praise God for who he is. So like, for it, in, for I don't know what to call it. Sample. Um, like I wrote down, my God is an awesome God. We praise. It's kind of like a song. And it kind of like, you know, you're praising the Lord. So I totally wrote that down. Then on the next page, I have my playlist. So these are kind of like um, songs I like to listen to when I'm reading my Bible. Like The Blessing, Yeshua, In Jesus' Name, Awesome God, Waymaker. And then on the other side, it's just Psalms 23. I feel like that's just such a sweet um, psalm to start in. So I love that chapter. And I love the verse that is pretty popular in it. Um, I can't, I think it's 23. I don't know what the Pacific verse is. But um, I really um, like that verse. So I'm going to get back into the um, war binder. So let me just close that up. I just kind of wanted to um, show you guys what this basically was and how you could start your own i will do a whole video dedicated to this pacific journal if and i can show you guys some tips and how to get started doing this um and comment down below if you would like that certain type of video but going on to the war binder i love it it's so pretty um i'm gonna start journaling in it and like getting it p prepared um i'll show you some of the things i have the only thing I'm going to take off is the ribbon that I put in the binder. 
just because it's so hard to move around in the binder. So I'm just going to go ahead and take those off just because they looked cute though. So I'll give it that. Give it that. I'm going to need some scissors. Scissors. Okay. Let me get that. Um, I really like, like, journaling because it kind of, it's a fun thing to do. And you don't have to do it every day, so don't put that stress on yourself. You have to do it every day. Um, it's just something fun that you can do, you know, once in a while. And, um, you know, it's kind of like making your bed, you know, you don't do it every day, but, um, you know. You do it when you feel like it. And it's kind of like a productive thing to do, so... This, I think it's really fun to do. So now they got those off. It's kind of just off and it's easier to flip through the pages and write your thing out. So this, um, what I'm going to do is I'm stick, um, I have these like journaling cards here and they're so pretty. I got these like last year at the dollar store and they're, they, um, I got like two packages and they came with so much. They have like big ones, small ones, every, um, size. They just have, like, medium, um, small and large. But I love them, and I decided that I wanted to stick them in my war binder. So, like, if I want to write little, like, affirmations or prayers or anything like that, that I'll have these, and I can just write them straight on there. And, um, you know, if you want to give cards out, um, you know, like, how they have, like, the little cards. They have, like, business cards, but they have, like, Bible sayings on them. You can kind of do stuff like that, but you can make your own. So this is what it looks like. So you can just pull them out. I might add like a few bigger things to the pocket. But for now, that's what I'm going to stick in there. I might stick like prayers. But let me show you off, um, show you guys um, the things that I have with me at the moment. So right here, I have these pretty, they're double-sided, pretty um, scrapbook paper. And you can use one-sided paper. It really doesn't matter. I just picked the double sided because I had it so I just had these pretty designs and I grabbed two of those just because and you can use one side for the other then I have this really pretty um like plum floral design and I really like those designs they're so pretty and bright so I have those and then I have these stickers I thought they were so pretty and I wanted to use them in my junk journal. Probably junk journal. I keep saying that. My war binder because I thought it'd be like really um, pretty to stick in there. Especially like, on the scrap of paper here because it matches. Then I just have like these like pre-cut like cute little like scrapbook papers. And they're so pretty. Like you can barely see them. But they're so pretty and like pastel. And so many cute, cute patterns. And I thought they'd be so fun to use. So I'm going to use those in my war binder. I might just stick them in a, po in a pocket. So, like, I can have them, you know, too easy accessible. So I think that's what I'm going to do. There's a pocket in the front and there's a pocket in the back. So I'm going to stick these, if they fit, in the back. Oh, dang, they don't fit. That's okay, because we have these cute, cute clips that we made in this video, and I'm just going to stick those in there. I love how this, like, kind of adds, like, a design to your thing, and you can also still have room to put the things in the pocket, um, and it's just going to look so nice when you're able to find a page to stick them on. Of course, they're not going to stay here. And you can make ones, um, so they're so easy to make, so you can make them with, I feel like you can make them with, like, tissue paper. Ooh, you can make them with pom-poms, too. But that's what it looks like. I just took them there. And now, whoops, um, it's a little wet. Okay. Now, you're going to want to start making your, like, you know, the inserts? The inserts, which, like separate your sections in your war binder i'm gonna have let me see four sections i'm gonna have a prayer one i'm gonna have a faith section so prayer faith and then i'm gonna have um 
So I'm just going to make the um, prayer in the face section right now. And I want to make them the same exact size. So I'm just going to make them... Um, I'm just trying to cut them to size and um, make them so they're not too big. But they're not smaller than the paper in itself. Just cutting this. And... Okay. Now that I have these two insert or they're like page. Oh, that's perfect size. Okay. So now I'm gonna add those. Um, I don't have a whole puncher out here at the moment, so I kind of just had like to improvise. I just you know use a scissor, scissor, and um, it works totally. Like it, it still works. So I'm so happy that it does work. So, now that I have my first insert done, I'm just going to get this one out, done and out of the way just because, you know, I got my other one done. So, I'm just going to get that taken care of. And I'm doing what I did earlier, kind of just like making the hole punches, and I'll be back when I'm done making all of my inserts. Okay, so I've made all four of my inserts, and they're all ready to be put in. So what you're going to want to do next is divide your papers up. I'm really not sure how many I have, so I'm going to count them and divide them into four. What I'm going to want to do is I got my, um, these inserts done. They're so nice and pretty. I love that they're double-sided because it doesn't matter what side it's on. It's still got a pretty side. But it really doesn't matter if you don't have it because you can use any type of scrap of paper or regular paper. It works. Any of it works. So you just want to like kind of like separate your paper up so and you can always add more paper if you run out so i'm going to say that's enough for one insert so let me move you guys back so you guys can see a little bit better so right here i'm going to add my first insert it's gonna look i'm so excited Okay, I'm going to add a few of these little cute papers, so I'm just going to pick like one of each, well, one, like five here or something. Now we have four sections, I'm going to stick those and start by punching holes in them. I'll be back when I'm done. Guys, I kind of just want to show you guys where I'm at and kind of show you guys like how it's coming, how it's looking, and all of that. So, um, I'm going to show you guys, so... And I have all of, like, my sections but one. I still have to add one. I added those small papers. I thought I kind of just added an extra page. And all your pages don't have to be the same size. And I added, like, one there. And I think they just kind of added an extra look to the page, which I love. And so, what you're going to want to do next is find a place for these things you have made. I'm going to stick one on each section so I can kind of never get my sections. I knew I had four sections, so I have to make another one. I just didn't know how many sections I was going to have, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. adding my last um, one in here. I do have to make a few more pages just because I don't have enough, but that's okay because you can always make last minute changes to your, junk, um, your um, war binder. So, yeah, I'm just going to, um, you can set this up any way you want. You can make any section, um, just make this, it's really, um, supposed to be personalized to your liking and to the way that, um, feels most natural to you. So, I have, like, a face section, a prayer section, and then I have, like, um, a Bible study section, and I'm going to write those in because I have to, um fix my other insert so I'm just gonna write those three ones three down and I'll be back when I do okay guys so right now um I just got all my inserts and I want to show you guys like what it looks like and I wrote down like the names of it and all that so I'm just gonna show you guys so opening up your war binder it looks like this looks like this and it says faith. So faith is my first section. Then I have prayer. 
Then I have Bible study. So the um, I just want to kind of go over what the Bible study section is. Um, the Bible study section is, um, I can write down like when I'm doing a Bible study, if I'm listening to like a sermon, I can print out Bible studies and kind of like stick them in my war binder. I can, um, there's so much you can do with just that one section. So I really wanted to do that. Um, and then, um, is that, did I tell you all my sections? Oh yeah, um, so it's faith Bible study prayer or prayer Bible study. And then what, I will think of another one when I'm done doing the rest of the pages in the um, war binder. But I think that concludes today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next video, guys. Bye.